Hey loves, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna show you guys how I get my larger kind of mega puff and give you guys some tips on how I achieve this look. The first thing is that you wanna work with completely dry and stretched hair. Um, whether you blow it out or you stretch it heat free, that's gonna give you a nice larger puff. The second thing is your edge gel. Make sure that you secure your edges um, with whatever you prefer, your favorite edge gel or gel in general. Um, um, that is going to help with the look also. Now, first I wanna show you guys what my regular puff would look like if I were to use a hair tie. And there's nothing wrong with this puff at all. I do rock this puff sometimes, but when I really wanna make a statement, when I really want that larger kind of mega puff look, then I am going to opt out of using a hair tie and so you're gonna see me take this hair tie off and you're gonna see me transform from this smaller puff to my larger mega puff by just using bobby pins that's right you guys just use bobby pins Hair ties are meant to secure the hair tightly. That is their job. Bobby pins, on the other hand, are meant to just secure the hair in place so that it does not move. So you are already at an advantage if you use bobby pins as opposed to a hair tie. What I'm gonna do is just secure the hair, the perimeter of the hair, and form my mega puff myself. And the bobby pins give you more flexibility. I can pull those bobby pins forward if I want the puff to be larger I however like to have the edges you know you to be able to see those slicked edges it gives it a bit more of that puff feel like my hair is actually in a ponytail even though it isn't um, but you have that flexibility if you um, want to pull it a little bit tighter you can place your bobby pins back a little bit more you decide how you want your puff to be how big you want it to be and then you also are in charge of shaping that puff no hair tie is going to do that for you if you decide to go with bobby pins instead and so really simple i'm just like i said putting bobby pins around the perimeter of my puff um, in accordance with how large i want my puff to be and then i'm just going to shape it and that is going to be it so although it does take a bit more time for me to get this larger puff by using bobby pins as opposed to a hair tie for me it is well worth it to get this nice large puff you guys like this is so fo foxy brown-esque 70s like just a statement maker that is what it is and so for they, those days I really want to make a statement with a really nice big puff you're gonna see me with my dry stretched hair you're gonna see me with that edge gel up front and you won't know it but I will have created this puff using nothing but bobby pins and so that is it you guys those are kind of the tricks and tips i use to create this nice big puff making my hair appear much larger than it is the other thing you want to make sure is to just pull that hair down in the back make sure you cover up the bobby pins that you've placed in the back but yeah you guys look how cute this is i have been rocking this lately just because i've just been feeling i've just been feeling it and so i thought it would be nice for me to share my tips with you guys on how I get this look. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I hope it's helpful. Let me know if you have any particular tips or tricks that you use in order to achieve a mega puff, making your hair appear larger and fuller than it is. And so that's it for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed and I'll see you next time.